you are trying to date. And how do you date in a socially distant society right now? That's right, we have to practice social distancing. So what do you do? Do you put your love life on hold? You don't have to put your love life on hold. I'm gonna give you some great ideas that you can implement as soon as you finish watching this video to the very end. You'll be able to hit the restart button with your dating life. My name is Maria Romano and I am a dating coach and minister in the wedding capital of the world, Las Vegas, Nevada. And for the past decades, I've performed about 3,000 weddings. And most couples that come to me, over 50%, you know how they met? They met online. That's right. And there's hope for you today, especially now that we're housebound. So I'm going to give you some great tips. The first is you need to launch yourself online. And even if you've been resistant, now is the time to do some research. Pick a couple of different dating apps that you want to choose. Maybe you want to be on a faith-based dating app. Maybe you're looking for a dating app where you're looking to just travel and have fun. There are a multitude of dating apps out there. There's over 2,700, believe it or not. But find two, two at the top that work for you. It can be eHarmony. It can be Zeus. It can be OkCupid. It can be Match. It can be Plenty of Fish. But do some research. And then when you find the app you want, make sure you answer all the questions. Because the more questions you answer, what's going to help the dating app is finding the perfect person for you. And there'll be a lot of different people that they'll match you up with. And in the morning, you're going to have some great profiles to look at. So answer all those questions honestly and take the time. Again, we have the time. You need to then look at the type of pictures that you are going to display. And look at it as this is your brand. Just think of Coke, Pepsi, Nike. They have a brand. And you want to really highlight your brand. And you start with pictures. You need to have pictures that you can actually grace on the magazine cover and pictures that you can show your family and friends. So that means no selfies in the bathroom with just your boxer shorts or no nightgowns, ladies. You really need to think about uh, really highlighting yourself. Put on some great color. Take a photo of your headshot and maybe a body and maybe you have some pictures of you performing activities. Maybe you were on a trip someplace. Use proper lighting and even if you have a cell phone, it's okay. You can take some great pictures and maybe you want to edit them just a little bit. I don't mean photoshopping but edit them. Choose four pictures and make sure they're only you, not your family, not your friends, not your pets, only you. Now you need to Think about your profile. I know this is tough. A lot of people don't like writing about themselves. However, if you were launching your resume out there, you'd be highlighting your skill sets. The same thing with writing your profile. Highlight you. Highlight the great things about you. We all have great qualities. Pick two, three, or four qualities. Maybe you're the life of the party. Maybe you're the type of person you like to solve problems. Whatever it is, highlight who you are and talk about what you enjoy, what you're looking for in a partner. And don't mention any drama. So focus on writing a great profile about you, maybe the most three paragraphs. And if you're like me, which I'm not great with the grammatical side, make sure you use spell check and grammar. And if not the proper grammar, then have somebody check it for you. Because there's nothing worse than somebody sending you a note. Hey, you use the most improper, you know, punctuation. Even though I think it's not a big deal, it's a big deal to somebody else. And you want to be able to attract people that are looking at your pictures and your profile that are interested in you and not the mistakes you made in your profile. So you now have your pictures, right? And you have your profile. And you launch yourself online. Now what? Okay. Don't sit back. Start searching. Start looking. Look at the different profiles and pictures that are sent to you every day. Go through the profile. 
don't just rely all the time on pictures. Not everybody is going to take a great picture. There are many people that I meet that I've seen their pictures online, and I think, ah, oh, but when I meet them, they're really a fabulous person. So don't discount pictures. Start a dialogue. Find out something in their profile that they might be interested in and ask them a question. Before you know it, you might have sent a few messages back and forth on the dating app and then move it from online to offline. What I mean by that is make a phone call. That's right, set up a phone call. If somebody doesn't want to call you, if somebody only wants you to email them a text, red flag, move on. There's lots of other people out there. Set up a phone call and if you think you want to move to the next step, what do you do now, right? Well, you set up a meet and greet, a virtual meet and greet. You could use, maybe you can use Skype. You can use Zoom video. Hey, maybe you can just use your cell phone, right? I have an Apple phone here, blah, 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 right? FaceTime. There's so many different ways that you can communicate to set up that virtual meet and greet. And just keep it nice, keep it light, but make sure that your surroundings look good, that you look good, that you're in the proper lighting. You don't want to be in the dark, okay? That is also a red flag. And you want to make sure your surroundings look neat and clean. You don't want to have a lot of clutter. Now's the time to declutter. So remember, when using that camera, the person's not just seeing you, they're seeing your surroundings. And you want to look great in your surroundings. Remember that brand? You want to highlight that brand. So you've set up this meet and greet. You like that person. Now what? You have a virtual date. This is a great time where you can set up a dinner date, a lunch date, a breakfast date. And it's not going to cost you a penny because you're going to cook from your house. That's right. Maybe you're going to take your cereal out and pour your cereal for breakfast and a cup of coffee. Or maybe you're going to make eggs benedict. Maybe for dinner, you might, you might whip up some fabulous mashed potatoes and a prime rib. It doesn't matter. You can set up a time where you two can actually have a virtual date. You can talk about what you cooked. You can talk about what you drink. You can talk about your day. You can also... Think about maybe there's a show that the two of you enjoy. You can watch the show. He or she can watch the show from their home. Pause it. You can talk about it. So you're not limited to meeting each other, but technically you virtually met each other and you're developing a bond. It's almost a cross between those two reality shows, Love at First Sight and Love is Blind. What's great is you've got to meet the person. You get a sense of who they are. You know what they look like. You've seen a little bit of their surroundings. And then now you've built up an emotional relationship. So enjoy this time. Enjoy this time that you have, even though we are housebound. You don't have to put your dating life on pause because you can meet the perfect person for you. And you can do it by virtual dating. I would love to hear about your experiences in the virtual dating world please email me, maria at truelovenuts.com. I want to hear how successful you are because I know even in these challenging times, you will find the perfect person for you.